Well, the Kino Drive-In has been a staple for moviegoers since May of 1949. But as Lacey Chris reports, that drive-in may have shown its last flick. The Kino Drive-In Theater is closed for the season, but it may never reopen. History. Um, it's kind of an art deco, old, it's kind of a flashback. This group of drive-in supporters are hoping to create some movie magic and keep the theater open. We're just pleading to them to try to do the right thing. You know, it's a good family environment. Keith Rosenberg is an alderman in Kenosha, which is just across the street. The property owner is planning on developing the land where the drive-in sits in the surrounding farmland. We can't make him be in the drive-in business if he doesn't want to be in it. On this map, the drive-in is in red. The landowner wants the village to rezone it so a Walmart or another box store can be built. The remaining land will be developed into housing. It's been emotional, but it hasn't been nasty. You know, it hasn't, you know, I think um, a lot of people understand that, you know, the dynamics on this are a little tough. The drive-in enthusiasts argue Walmarts are a dime a dozen. They don't want one of the few drive-in theaters in the state to be left on the cutting room floor. I really think he has the opportunity right now to be the hero of this community and save the drive-in. The village board is expected to make a decision in the middle of May. Reporting from Pleasant Prairie, Lacey Crisp, today's TMJ4. And we did leave messages for the property owner. He did not return our calls. When you